Hello and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install VMware Workstation 17 Pro for free. As you can see on my screen, my 16 Pro eval period has ended. And now if I want to power up my virtual machines, go ahead and select one, power on this virtual machine. You can see your license has expired. That means eval period has expired. And now I need a valid license. Broadcom does allow you to go ahead and download VMware Workstation 17 Pro for free. And that's what we are going to do. So I'm going to go ahead, uninstall this and download 17 Pro. For that, we are going to go to access.broadcom. And the link is in description. Go ahead, create your account, log in, register. So this is where you need to be. Go ahead and say next. All right, so we have a verification code and I'm logged in here. Let me go and enter my verification code. Verify and continue. Complete your registration. I'm going to complete my registration. The product registration is successful. And now I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, so I'm logged in here. And here you can see we have VMware Cloud Foundation. That's where we want to go. Go to my download and search Workstation, VMware Workstation Player, VMware Workstation Pro. And we want VMware Workstation Pro for Windows. Let me go ahead and download the latest one, which is 17.6.2 as of today. Go ahead and download. Okay, it is asking you to trade compliance and download condition. So make sure you provide your address and all those things. Let me do that. All right. I have finished the trade compliance uh, form. That's where you have to mention your uh, home address or office address and consent that this is going to be a personal use. And let's see if we are ready to download. The download has started. Please wait for a few minutes. Yes, this is done. Let me go ahead and uninstall the VMware workstation first apps and search for VMware. Here you can see we have 16. I'm going to go ahead and say uninstall, modify, next, remove. So there is not direct uninstall available, but we can go to modify and say remove. All right, looks like the service is back. And just to keep things simple, I have the VMware software available here on the desktop that we downloaded. Let's go ahead and double click to install. Preparing to install VMware Workstation Pro 17. I accept the terms of the licenses. Let me just randomly scroll it down. And next, add VMware Workstation Console tool into system path. That's great. Yes, let's do that. And we accept. This is going to be personal use. Desktop and start menu program folder. Yes, please. And I'm going to say install. That's just like any other Windows program. So our installation is complete. I'm going to say finish. Find it from the application, VMware Workstation Pro 17. It was available in start menu. It's kind of interesting. I happened to uninstall that, but looks like it has picked up the VM folder and I can see my virtual machines here, which is great. So let me go ahead and see if I can power it on. Voila, it's great. So my old machines are also available. This is a simple Linux syslog server booting up. And as you can see, we have our VMware Workstation Pro 17 up and running. I hope you like the video. Uh, please go ahead, make full use of that. This is freeware and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.